Hello, um, my name's Wendy Fish. Um, I'm director of the British Architectural Library. Um, and for those of you who knew her, um, I'm successor to Dr. Irena Murray, who um, retired from the library um, this summer. Um, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome um, to all of you. It's fabulous to see um, such a wonderful turnout um, today. Uh, and I know that people have travelled from far and wide, both within the UK um, and from across various waters. So um, really, really good to have you here. Um, and also, um, such a diverse range of organisations represented here. So um, that's really, really good to see. Um, I hope you find today both um, stimulating and enjoyable. Um, I know that I'm certainly looking forward to um, listening and learning from uh, the assembled expertise. Um, just in terms of um, today, so this conference has been co-organised by the uh, British Architectural Library and the Victoria and Albert Museum, um, and it's bringing together some noted UK and international uh, experts, um, including those from the Canadian Centre for Architecture, uh, from the National Gallery of Art in Washington, from Harvard University, um, and from the Cité d'Architecture in Paris. Um, all of those have been looking at uh, very carefully and working with the issues that we're, we're going to be talking about today. Um, so the speakers are going to be assessing um, current challenges facing offices and collecting institutions and outlining <coughs> best practices to um, share and preserve these records, as well as suggesting continued collaborations uh, to manage the lack of open source software and proprietary formats. Uh, tomorrow features site visits to the office of John McCaslin and Partners uh, and to the Central St Martin's King's Cross Design Studios uh, and will include presentations by three speakers to look at how practitioners, curators and students uh, create, maintain and publicise designs in the virtual environment. Um, <clears throat> The British Li Architectural Library has long held an ambition um, to host this event and we're very much hoping that it will keep the dialogue going by building on the previous history of digital design conferences. Um, in particular, the 2007 uh, one organised by the Cité d'Architecture as part of the Gaudi programme um, and which resulted in the 2008 publication of Architecture and Digital Archives, Architecture and Digital Age, A Question of Memory. Um, and also other events, um, for instance, 2009, hosted by the Netherlands Architecture Institute, as well as a variety of other sessions at um, organisations such as the International Confederation of Architectural Museums, the International Council of Archives, the Society of American Archivists, um, and, of course, Digital Preservation Coalition, who are um, represented here today. Um, in terms of outputs, we're taping today's and tomorrow's speakers... Um, and the Q&A sessions, and we're hoping to create a series of resource pages which will go up on the um, BAL's library website. Um, above all, I think we hope that today will pr prove um, an excellent opportunity for making and in some cases renewing connections um, with people working in the same, same areas, um, and hopefully um, trigger some fresh new collaborations. I'd just like to say um, a few brief thank yous. Um, first of all, to the um, Bishop Architectural uh, Library's Library Committee, um, both for recognising the importance of the issues that we're, we're looking at today um, and for agreeing to release money from our restricted funds to uh, underwrite the cost of putting the event on. Um, without their support, it really wouldn't have been possible. Um, we'd also like to thank John McCaslin Partners, who will be hosting us on day two um, and opening up their office to us all. Um, and to the Central St Martin's King's Cross for agreeing to give us a tour of their design studios. Um, the staff of the Heatherwick studio also, um, and in particular to um, speakers and presenters um, and moderators who've come from various parts of um, Europe and North America. Um, and we thank to the um, support of Digital Preservation Coalition. Um, above all, I'd really like to say a very warm thank you to my colleagues, um, Kurt Helfrich and to Fiona uh, Orsini, who I can't quite see at the moment, um, for organising um, a really great programme for us. And I'm sure those of you who have organised conferences will, will know just what a, what a tricky job that can be. So thank you very much um, to Kurt and to Fiona. Um, I'd also like to thank Abraham Thomas um, from v &A, who will be speaking to us tomorrow. Um, last but not least, Stephanie Broom from our public programmes team for helping in organising the event, and to Wilson up here, who you'll see throughout the day, who is going to uh, capture it for us on, on film. So thank you, Wilson. <laughs>